has been a long journey in the management of cardiovascular disorders but i have always believed uh, in your talks and all and you have always said that prevention is better than the cure is it true for cardiovascular disorders as well sir yes very much true you see as you said i have watched cardiology being developed from almost ecg machines to the interventions but what has pained me is that heart disease has not decreased awareness has also increased because uh, something is missing there and that's where prevention comes in everybody knows prevention is better than cure there is a very old chinese saying which says that superior doctors prevent the disease before it is evident ordinary doctors treat the disease before it is evident and inferior doctors treat the disease once it is evident mm. so i think according to that we are all inferior doctors and everybody knows that prevention is better than cure even if we can do a little bit of prevention it will have much more achievement than doing all costly interventions or even bypass surgery this has been proven now so how, what are your recommendations how can we prevent these diseases you see it is very well known that these are lifestyle related diseases true it is the faulty lifestyle unhealthy diet lack of exercise mental stress and tobacco which cause this but in spite of the fact people know all about it they don't follow it the reason is we have not studied the behavior of the individual that's where what my challenge was about 20 years back i said let me go and try to change the behavior of the individuals this can be done by our ancient discipline called yoga correct because yoga i had uh, did not have a good impression what it is i thought it's only exercises but later on i learned it's a holistic lifestyle in which not only you control stress which is a very very important factor actually is coming out to be one of the important factors for causation of heart disease uh, you not only control stress but you also give them proper diet called sattvic diet you they also avoid tobacco and they do exercise so this is a holistic lifestyle i got interested into it for the prevention in the last 20 years several uh, studies i have done and there are a large number of international studies which show that yoga has the potential to prevent the disease to a great extent so yoga is now scientifically proven with all the data what you have published because initially we did not had evidence to support yoga but i believe now there is enough evidence to support yoga and its role in prevention of cardiovascular disease yes yoga has been claimed to be beneficial in many lifestyle diseases it has not only prevents the lifestyle diseases it also gives you a sense of well being and happiness and peace there are a lot of data on that unfortunately the studies are small the largest studies are in cardiovascular system it has been clearly shown that yoga acts at almost all levels of cardiovascular disease for example you know it is the risk factors like hypertension diabetes obesity smoking all of them have been shown to be corrected by yoga not only that after these lifestyle factors is inflammation and oxidation and that oxidative stress and inflammation has also been shown to be the case studies are small after that atherosclerosis develop our studies and several other studies show that even atherosclerosis can be reversed by yoga both early as well as advanced and finally there is myocardial infarction which occurs which has also been shown by certain people to be reduced if one follows yoga in addition to the usual lifestyle then arrhythmias heart failure all these have been shown to be decreased unfortunately the studies are small methodologies are also limited mm -hmm. and therefore large multi central yeah. studies are needed but uh, the data in all these small studies is very consistent that yoga is not only uh, good for primary prevention of heart disease it's mm -hmm. extremely good for secondary prevention also it can even regress atherosclerosis correct and plus it is a most cost effective there is no additional cost burden to the patients and it improves on the lifestyle it improves the complete uh, holistic it's more of an holistic treatment yes. to a patient rather than just giving him medications for a particular disorder i think you said the right thing it is a holistic discipline and a single discipline can control all the risk factors for heart disease the most important thing as you said the compliance is very high you know when when we use uh, patients uh, when we use this yoga in secondary prevention you know that uh, the compliance of medicines patients with hypertension or coronary artery disease is very poor in very our country poor, especially yeah, the yeah. compliance increases secondly the compliance with diet and exercise and smoking cessation also markedly improves a lot of studies to show that so yeah. i believe that uh, more people should be interested in doing yoga and i am very glad in this conference there is a yoga session kept specially for doctors Wonderful. i will urge all the doctors to uh, follow this 
and uh, I am sure that they will feel peace and happiness and then they should try it on their patients. I have been doing it for the last 25 years and I have been fully satisfied. I have been able to avoid angioplasty bypass or a second bypass angioplasty in large number of patients. What will be your key takeaway messages for the physicians and fellow cardiologists? My key message will be that all the physicians and clinicians should lay a lot of stress on prevention of the disease. We, I know that uh, doctors are very busy, they have a large number of patients. If they can spend five to seven minutes of their time on prevention, it will go a long way. That's what I do. I ask the patients, uh, do you do exercise? Do you avoid stress? Is your diet all right? And uh, are you smoking? So stress should be uh, on prevention because the results of prevention are much better than all drugs combined. The second message is that they should uh, try to use yoga, which has a lot of evidence that it can prevent heart disease. Yoga is accepted in our country also. And I think uh, yoga started in this country. And therefore, I would urge the doctors not only to use yoga, but also to do more research so that it can be authenticated scientifically much more. Thank you, sir. Thanks a lot. Is it true for cardiovascular disorders as well, sir? Yes, very much true. You see, as you said, I have watched cardiology being developed from almost ECG machines to